a Maryland pastor on Sunday denounced President Trump's s. whole country's comment before God, his congregation and Vice President Pence. Worshippers at the Metropolitan Baptist Church in Largo, M.D., said the Vice President grew visibly red-faced as the Rev. Morris Watson called Trump out for his vulgar comments last week about Haiti and several African nations. I stand today as your pastor to vehemently denounce and reject any such characterizations of the nations of Africa and of our brothers and sisters in Haiti, Watson told his congregation as Pence looked on. And I further say, whoever made such a statement, whoever used such a visceral, disrespectful, dehumanizing adjective to characterize the nations of Africa, whoever said it, is wrong. And they ought to be held accountable. Worshippers jumped to their feet and applauded during the sermon. Courtesy of Metropolitan Baptist Church Photography Ministry Watson never mentioned Trump by name, but his reference was clear to everyone including Pence, who listened with his wife. Watson said he felt led by God to do it, and noted many of his congregants come from Haiti or African nations. According to reports, Trump told lawmakers during an Oval Office meeting that he preferred immigrants from places like Norway over s. whole countries like Haiti and African nations. The awkward church moment didnt stop Pence from honoring King on social media. Today we remember the legacy of MLK Jr., Pence tweeted, along with video of him laying a wreath at the King Memorial in Washington. His memorial stands tall, but the real memorial to Dr. King resides in the hearts of all who strive for a more perfect union. To honor him, let's rededicate ourselves to the cause Dr. King selflessly advanced, that all men are created equal. The sermon is far from the first time Pence has had to catch flack for the president, he even had to do it during the presidential transition. At a 2016 performance of the Broadway smash Hamilton, Pence was booed as he took his seat before the show began. Courtesy of Metropolitan Baptist Church Photography Ministry the audience cheered loudly at the lyrics Immigrants, we get the job done. At the end of the show, star Brandon Victor Dixon, the actor playing Vice President Aaron Burr, read a statement to the Vice President-elect, thanking him for attending, but noting we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. We truly hope this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and work on behalf of all of us, Dixon concluded. A year later, Pence left a football game between the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers at the Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis after some players knelt during the national anthem. Pence said he did not want to dignify the demonstration, which was launched by quarterback Colin Kaepernick to protest racism and injustice in America.